I needed to save Cocoon for Genji, it was said. That means I can never use it to engage. So all I get is Burrow Charge or Impale. So we need big chromy hits off of that. Or we need them to be low before we start. When you have chromy, you need Oppo to be low before you start. Or perfect hit the skill shot. To, like when you engage. Two options. But uh, without communication on voice, he doesn't know when I'm going to go in. I didn't know when I'm going to go in because I wait for an opportunity. And no one is ever low, so there's never an opportunity. It's it's very reliable as a Nubarak to cocoon Rhaegar and go in on someone. But I wasn't allowed to play it that way. So it was hard. It was difficult. Could it be better if you cocoon Malthael and Lucio uh, uses uh, Sound Barrier on Dragonblade? I think so. But the thing is, technically I had four cocoon targets. Stitches Putrid Bile, Malthael Tormented Souls, and Genji Dragonblade. And Rhaegar. Because if you don't cocoon Rhaegar in an anti-Rhaegar, I mean in a Rhaegar comp, he will save two people every hand. time. So it's more like we needed two Anurax. Or additional support or peel. Which we didn't have. But yeah, we had slowing sands and time trap. I'm just, uh, I mean, I don't know who's right and wrong, and I'm not the police neither. That's Blizzard. But uh, if you don't want to play with someone, do like this. An Ishar, or whatever. Like, you whisper them, and then you check when they're in-game, and then you search. If they're not in-game, you don't search. Seems better than to complain in a new game. Salama, Thanks, Laparino. I'll send you a I will fight Snapchat you later. Life. Kirby, can you explain the role of Tyrael? Yes. Sanctification and Holy again. Ground. He creates zones where it becomes impossible to win for the opponent. He has heavy the mana usage. He no is man. tanky when played well, but can be burst Frost pretty easily when played hunger. wrongly. He has slow and speed utility and shields. He is the warrior that offers support when you need second support, but you don't have design space in your draft for a second support. And he's excellent at blocking big impact small duration alts, such as VP, Moshpit, Tormented Souls, Maelstrom, etc. Kirby, when do I take Strafe on Vala? Alright, if you are going for 
auto attack build, which you shouldn't because it's bad. But if you are, you should always get Reign of Vengeance. Simply because every auto attacker needs mobility, sustained damage, and if possible, self peel. And there's no reason to go auto attack build and then strafe because auto attack build needs 100% uptime in attacking. Whereas Hungering Arrow is burst, vault, burst, wait for cooldowns. Some auto attacks, they're still good. Good auto attacks, really. But it's more okay to do all your spells with Hungering and then strafe than auto attack and then strafe. That's a big loss of single target DPS. Now then, when should you take strafe? Well... Uh, if your opponent has a lot of squishies and a single target support, strafe can be pretty nice. But it's not just about that, it's also about what is the damage type of your allies. If, like, if you think that everyone is going to take a lot of spread damage from your allies, like from Lunara, and Oppo has like Uther, strafe is a great way to capitalize on getting multiple kills at the same time. It's also a very safe way of dealing damage, more than doing auto attacks, rain of vengeance, and so on. Greetings, now, I think I'll go multi shot build this game. A clever ploy. They completely forgot about Kel'thas. It's the only... Uh, <laughs> that's kind of good, two for one. It's the only recourse I had. Go Vision, think Kel'thas is the predator and actually is the prey. <laughs> and we actually dragged the two for one. That's, uh, that's surprising. <laughs> Let's see what builds we have. Prog Rock. Let us move. Kel'thas is mana addict. Zero stacks, by the way. That's what I like to see. I don't really need to stay here. Go for punishment. A clever ploy. <sighs> Rhyme. Feel my rock. As you wish. Greetings, friend. No mercy for the new to the stream. Long time YouTube viewer. Thanks for helping me get out of gold. Triple Smiley kill. face. Yo, welcome, uh fellow YouTube viewer and Heroes fan. Good job. My pleasure. As you wish. What's a Tychus? Is that some kind of food? <laughs> Tychus is uh, a forgotten hero. I'm still not sure if he's actually viable or not recently. I think probably not because his short range means he actually gets bullied by tanks. The very thing he's meant to counter. And if it's a tank buster you need, generally it's Malthe or Vala that you go to, not Tychus. Lunara also. He's viable, swift rage. Hey, 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 no need to shout. If he's viable, he doesn't need you to shout. He can speak for himself. Select a 
You know, Death Dealer is actually pretty good. I think it's better than Arsenal, but I have no experience playing with it. You need to be good at the resets. It's very good judgment and experience. It's it's really good, but Arsenal easy value too. Wrong way, buddy. A strategic victory. Witness me. <laughs> See you soon, Liam. Greetings, friend. Grubby, I just came yeah, home and was so greeted silly. by my wife, dressed in oh, stunningly sexy lingerie. Tie nice. me up, she said, and you can do anything you want. <laughs> so I tied her up and switched on your stream. <laughs> your fear oh man, life choices. <laughs> I mean, I get it, man. I have a very similar story like that. That's the first time I hear that one, by the way. If it's a meme. My hunt continues. Um, Guardian of Ancient Kings. So someone asked, when do you go strafe? Now is when you go strafe. He has a proc of 35 bonus armor on stun targets. Reign of Vengeance is... It's good damage. 370. But it also stuns. So it may end up actually healing them. The this way. Yeah, it's kind of anathema oh that ETC stage Greetings dives out and I don't look. I'm supposed to look why that happened. La gente este muy loca. My strafe was uh, badly timed. You don't actually get hits if you cast it on the invisible targets. So for a good two seconds it did nothing. Really bad strafe. You can just go keep wall to be honest. They will respond and Sonya will get the... Uh, Oh, nice. ETC has the same idea. I love it when tanks have the same idea as me. Once they defend, Sonya will get the remainder of the skeletons. If they don't respond, then fine. Or Sonya will die trying to contest it. Is there a world where we get the keep? No mercy for the wicked. Death awaits. Bad news. Your killing spree is over too. Stage dive. He could have stage dive. He will kill Tyrael and No, why there? You know, if he stage dive a while ago, uh he actually gets the kill and the skeletons maybe. Oh my god! All right, so I think stage dive was a good idea, but uh, I think it could have been better placed. <laughs> it's okay. We had no ancestral anyway. I think he made a judgment call that uh, the guy was gonna walk left. Time to choose a talent. Uh, let's see, gloom. Yeah. Gloom. For Frodo. No 
So now they're taking top right Impalers. The most top right one anyway. I finished with you, uh... Good effort. Your fate is sealed. My heart continues. Mm, yeah, I probably Wonderful. don't want to do that. You took a key. <laughs> he stage dived on it. Not out of it. But we got it. We finally got it and we're still ahead in XP. Here. This is some HGC champs level calls. I didn't think he's crazy enough to actually uh, <laughs> stage dive on it. Like a dedication, man. Survive. I'd say it's exceedingly likely they're gonna gank bruisers. But they didn't. Good. Through here. If they had stage dive, what I did is of course very dangerous, but uh, that is not the case. This is uh, another easy keep for us. Greetings, friend. If we want it, we still see two. ETC will stop backs. We got keep all that's fine. Oh, he sees there's still a bunch of them. Okay, okay. But it is Kalthas. Oh, 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 run, run. <laughs> no. No, get it. Okay, good. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> so good. <laughs> I've never had a game like this. Never. <laughs> this reminds me of a strategy I used to have in Warcraft 3. Blade Master Shadowhunter, two Bestiaries against Night Elf, mass raiders, eventually upgrades, mass expansions, never defend the expansions, Every time you meet the Night Elf, give him one Raider intentionally okay, for free. He will Cyclone it, he will wait 15 seconds Sweet until the Raider sight. comes back to Earth, surround it, and kill it. All the while, you're creeping another expansion. And then, Nothing will stop me creeping now. another expansion. And you keep giving him one Raider. And he's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna surround it, blah blah blah. Yeah. Sorry, dude. Uh, we we, 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 we want to get out of here, no? All right, we don't get out of here. Do we end it? <laughs> Hello. Do we just win? <laughs> wow, well, hey, the, the goal of the game is killing buildings, no? Not getting kills or objectives. What is this? MVP. Yeah, double dog. It's a yoga move, right? It's so good at uh, pushing keeps. 
Epic. I just wanted to hear the sound. I think uh, I think it was ETC. That stage dive on the keep that won it. Two dogs and a cow and a demon hunter. 14, 13 in takedowns, you know, not bad. Uh, builds, as you can see, not much to comment, really. Okay, there we go. Now, if that is a YouTube video, what should be the title? Why did you go with that build? Uh, multi shot for the uh, shrine, and also because against double tank with Army of the Dead, it can be more challenging to get Hungering Arrow on the correct target. Also, Uther is a burst protect, not as much sustain, so multi shot and strafe has a really high chance of dropping multiple enemy members low. Can you have a Kel'Thuzad game? I'll try, Alicium. I'll try for you. How to feed and win? It's not a feed. It's not a feed if you die, but you achieve something great. Was Nelson Mandela a feeder? No, he's a hero. The secret cow level. I like that. I'm paraphrasing from something. Two dogs and a secret cow level. <laughs> 